N, a full team of six. He is not, and I repeat, not to be underestimated. He's starting off with his legendary. In my case, it is Reshram, level 52 dragon type with the Fire Blaze ability, or Turbo Blaze ability. The moves Extra Sensory, Hyper Beam, Reflect, and its signature move Fusion Flare. Otherwise, you will be facing Zekrom, which is currently in my possession, level 52 Dragon Electric type with the Terra Bolt, of Bolt ability with the moves Zen Headbutt, Giga Impact, Light Screen, and Fusion Bolt. Warning, he has four four stores. Four. Do not underestimate the power of his legendary. It is level 52 and yours is only level 50. Dragon Breath is your best bet, because chances are you probably decide to add this legendary to your team, in which I did. Unfortunately, dragon types are not super effective against Reshram. Um, thankfully, he doesn't have a dragon move of his own. So, I'm going to try, I'm actually doing this because I'm trying to get the paralysis, but now it loses its value, so I'll fusion bolt it. Oh, that's going to kill. Yeah, I figured as much. Alright, in that case, let's go. This better KO or I'm in a lot of trouble. And I mean a lot of darn lot of trouble right about now. Um, okay then. Fortunately, Marissa is actually resistant against its entire so might have a chance. Um, okay. Basically, his entire team's choice power with it. Any power um, throughout this battle, actually, if your team is weaker like mine. I'm going to revive... Zekrom, because I need him <laughs> badly, um, really, really badly, and then I'm going to try a coil strategy at some point here in the battle. Um, Zekrom is just my tool to eliminate Reshram, and if he hyper beams again, I'm just going to revive it and switch it back in, because that seems like the best strategy to go with for the time being. Ah, this is such an awesome battle, and oh my goodness, that is so wrong on so many, so many, so many levels. Um, I can't use Skarmory, and I can't use Kel, because Kel's ability, or his Fire-type ability is blocked out. Um, Alright, we'll go back with Kel, and I'm going to Max Revive Zekrom to ensure that it won't be KO'd. I hate using Max Revives, but honestly, I don't care because I'm at the point where this is game over for me. Once I'm done with this battle, once I'm done with the main game, it's over for me, so I don't mind using up an extra potion or Max Revive. Ah, and you're giving me so much trouble. Why? Ugh, even Lance didn't give me this much trouble. Alright, no critical hit will save you this time. Fusion bolts! Ha 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 Okay, you'll hit me first. But it's not very effective. Ha ha ha. Of course, then again, this isn't actually very effective either. Man, that animation is incredible. Ah, it's so amazing. Alright. Wow, he didn't potion! Okay, that's a shocker. Um, I expected a Piper or a Forest store to get used there. Alrighty then. <laughs> well, isn't that interesting? Yes! Vanilla Lux! Ice cream for the win! <laughs> Alright, we are going to go with Skarmory for this one. I'm going to throw down my spikes because the spikes will help immensely. Actually, this might not be Vanilla Ux. Because, um, just a heads up, he actually has a very interesting Pokemon on his team, Zoroark. 
Um, okay, this is actually Vanilla Lux and not uh, Zorark, but Zorark has the illusion ability and he's kind of like, everyone was like, ooh, Zorark, the Lucario equivalent to uh, fifth gen. So Vanilla Lux is level 50, ice type with ice body ability, Frost Breath Blizzard. Ah, hell, and um, Flash Cannon are its moves. And Blizzard actually did quite toll on me. Man, that hurt. <laughs> I am item spamming here because this is probably the only way I'm going to be able to actually win. Um, unfortunately. Because <laughs> I am using a really pathetically weak team. Hmm, maybe I should switch. Um, okay, who should I switch to then? Kill. Kill! Yeah, kill, good idea. <laughs> Even though his legendary is his main Pokemon, which is very unusual for a, uh, a, such an important battle to start out with an important Pokemon. Um, and does have a very powerful team despite his best Pokemon being first. All of his Pokemon are very well-rounded. Most of them are... He, he has his share of um, rock types. He has actually two of them. So he does have a... But he's like Cynthia. His team is well-rounded and not specific to anything. I'm going to throw my luck on Inferno. I might regret this, but I'm going to try. I figure he was going to use Hail anyway, so why not? All right, that paid off. I'll get a free burn that probably won't KO, so I can KO with my next move. Um, maybe not. I don't know. Let's try this, because I really hate for him to full restore himself. Because if he full restores, then it's just like, ah, darn it, he full restored. Um, but that should not KO. Ugh. I don't know if the burn will do enough. All right, it did. That's good. Yay, kill. Caracosta. I've been waiting for this. Why? Because it's time to set up my coil strategy. Caracosta, level 50, water rock type, sturdy ability, aqua jet, waterfall, stone edge, and crunch, all physical based attacks, all easily coiled against. I can set myself up to sweep his team right now because thankfully I can probably withstand anything. Or he could get a critical hit. <laughs> ah, that's so wrong. Ah. Uh, um. Okay. You're cool. Uh, critical hits break through defensive setups, so that's why that did even more damage than it was supposed to. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to coil again. I was going to leaf seed it, but I don't need to leaf seed it. Um, thankfully, because of the sturdy ability, or because of the spikes, I actually made the sturdy ability worthless. So that gives me even more free reign to just keep setting up here. Alright, Stone Edge, that won't do much. Three more coils, and then this battle is mine. I couldn't do this on any other Pokemon because, unfortunately, uh, most, mostly everything in this team has something to counter, uh, especially Reshiram, considering it's a fire type. Um, but Caracosta is perfect to set up against, so I'm glad he used that now. There is a few things on his team that might prove to be a little bit problematic, but chances are I should be able to sweep through his team for the most part without much difficulty. Especially since I have Giga Drain to recover some health, um, which I'm going to do now. That's times four effective. I don't even care about getting the attack bonus from Coil just so I can get some health back. Alrighty. And you are as good as dead. You let me set up. Big mistake. Kling Kling, level 50. Still type with the plus ability. Its attacks are Thunderbolt, Flash Cannon, Hyper Beam, and Metal Sound. 
This thing can kill me, but hopefully Leaf Blade will be powerful enough. Ah, Night Slash. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> My notes are wrong. Apologies for that. Oh, oh, that's why. Ha ha ha, you caught me there. I was wondering why. Zorark. Level 50 Dark Type with the Illusion ability. Night Slash, Flamethrower, Focus Blast, and Retaliate is its move set. And now it is dead. So now for the real Kling Clang, which I already read off its move set for you. Um, that's the power of the Illusion ability that Zorark has. That's very tricky because if you don't know he has that, you're kind of shocked. It's unlike competitive battling, where in competitive battling you know when something's being sent. You know if uh, Zorark's on the other team, because I think they put that into 5th gen competitive um, Wi-Fi stuff. He didn't full restore that either, wow. And is feeling gutsy. And I am getting so much experience from this. Archeops is a level 50 rock flying type with the defeatist ability. Its moves are Dragon Claw, Acrobatic, Stone Edge, and Crunch. Fortunately for me, it is rock type. Unfortunately for me, it knows acrobatics. Um, but I have six defenses up, so I should be able to kill it with one hit. If not, I'm going to be severely disappointed. But there it is. Dead. So much experience. You have been defeated, and game over. Or is it?